How's everybody doing on this fine Saturday afternoon? Um, today, I got this little knife here out. I, I usually don't get this knife out, but when I did the uh, um, response to the open tag that Thrifty put out for the green handled knives, I thought, well, let's let's break out the old SE Azula 2. Why not? Um, now, SE, uh, they're an American company. You know, Randall's Adventure Training um, puts these knives out. And uh, they're just like little survival knives. Um, Essie's a good company. Does a lot of survival classes through the United States. I think they even do it like down in Costa Rica and places like that as well. Um, but this right here is just their little Essie Azula 2. It's uh, 6.75 inches long in total length. Um, the blade itself is going to be 2.875. The cutting edge is uh, 2.65 or 2.625. 2 and I believe the uh, thickness is like a 0.16 here on the spine, which is, I don't know, point, uh, well, yeah, 0.16. Um, that's kind of close to a Bark River Gunny. Um, but if you look, this has got the OD green coating on it. And it's hard to make out the little fire ant there and the number uh, 68797. And, of course, it's distributed, uh, the, the metal and I think the blanks... Uh, Actually, I think the knife is distributed by Rowan. And then on this side, you got the Ann again with SE Knives USA and then Azula 2 below that. Um, but this right here, uh, if you look at the forward finger choil, this right here, they, they distribute these for survival type scenario knives. Um, now, if you're in a survival situation, I definitely want something bigger than this. But if you look at some videos that are online, people do take these out and... Uh, into the woods and kind of baton with them do some uh, feather sticking some wood shavings and stuff like that the only thing I don't care about these is the coated blade it is 1095 so it does keep the blade protected but if you want to scrape a ferro rod or something you kind of got to do it with the blade or have you like a scraper with you as well and it does come with this sheath it also comes with this clip that you can bolt to the sheath but this uh, this was kind of like a set. Now in this paperwork right here, this is for the paperwork for the Kandaroo, the Azula, and the Azula 2. So it came with like a little survival kit type thing. And it kind of had some paracord and some rings and stuff like that that came with it. So what I did was I took the paracord and used that to make my belt loop for my... Or, or make uh, the belt loops for the sheath itself. That way, I didn't have this bolted to it constantly, and I felt that this right here is kind of more up my alley, and you can take that off there. You can use that uh, paracord for what you want. And this right here, like when you got this set up, this just snugs right down in your front pocket. so nice and easy. And I put this on there, you know, to grab the pool, and you can use this also as some survival um, cordage as well if you ever get into a situation. And you can also uh, remove these scales, and just have a basic spine open skeletonized knife itself and you can even put paracord wrapping around the skeleton of that. Um, now if we look, when you have it it's going to look similar to this one right here if you take the scales off. Um, this is just, the SE2 I believe is a half inch longer than the SE1. So not, not a huge difference but when you buy something from Essie, it usually comes with some decent paperwork like this, and a little bit of instructions, some survival stuff down here. Um, let's look at the back, kind of shows you, you know, a setup right there on how to remove it <laughs> just with your finger. And it is very simple, like when you hold these and you want it quick, well, you can just usually pop that. I could probably do a better job here. Yeah, you can just pop it right off. Very easy, and a lot of people make Kydex sheath for these as well, and you can even get a leather one made if you want to talk to someone who will do that for you. Not to mention names, J.O. Ventures. <laughs> now, all these usually come with a couple of these cards. It's kind of like some wilderness survival type uh, information. So you guys can pause that and read it if you want. But here's kind of uh, the symbols if you're ever in a distress situation. You can lay some sticks out or some vegetation in these manners to kind of let people from above know what's going on with you. 
And here you know what to do if you're lost, how to, sh you know, shelter, signaling, things like that. Distance information. Again, you, like I said, you can pause that and read that if you want to. But I kind of keep one of these in my bug out bag and in my wallet. Because I got, you know, I bought a few SE knives. So kind of got all that information. And, uh, but yeah, it's just a great USA company that uh, does a lot with survival classes and courses. And you can take courses through them. You could go down and spend a weekend with them, and they, they have different instructional courses that you can take. So, yeah, this is a look at the Azula 2. Now, I gotta admit, I haven't used this knife a ton. I did feather stick and stuff with it when I first got it, but uh, you know, I've got other different knives, and this is 1095 steel. So, every time you use it, you kind of do gotta tune her up a bit. So, it's not like 3V or A2 or anything like that. Um, yeah, just a basic little knife and i love like i think saw grunt um was asking or, or we were talking about it on a live or something and i said yeah i can take this little thing and it just fits right down in my front pocket now i'm six one you know 255 pounds but so I, you know if you're smaller than that you you may not be in a situation where you can do that but you know it's always fit in my pocket whether it's shorts or uh or uh, blue jeans. You know, that's what I wear mostly is blue jeans, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little jewel of knife. And you can even use it as a neck knife. So it come with a retainer and it's, I've got it somewhere, but you can make a cordage around your neck and then hang it from your neck as well like that. I just don't like carrying stuff like that. I'd rather have it kind of in my pocket or on my belt myself. I'm not a fan of neck knives. But that's just me. You guys might be different. Um, so yeah, you can get this probably on Blade HQ right now. Let's just look and see how much this thing costs right now. Uh, $83. So, I mean, it's not a bad price for a USA uh, made knife. You know, this specific iteration they don't have in stock, but I'm sure if you went to the knife connection or somewhere else, I'm sure you'd be able to find you one of these. And this would be a good little knife to take on. Like, like say you're going on like a little five-mile hike, just throw this in your... Pocket and go because you know someone's gonna be able to rescue you fairly quickly if you get into a situation only five miles deep. So actually, it'd only be two and a half miles deep. But event, I, I'd hope you're gonna come out the <laughs> within the five mile. I hope you only, only go uh, two and a half is halfway. But so yeah, this is it. This is a look at her green canvas micarta cordage plastic sheath. You know it is molded plastic, but. I'd much rather have a uh, Kydex and all my four I did buy a Kydex sheath for that one but you know this one works it works and you can like I said make your own little belt retainer or use the, the clip with the screws it comes with so yeah that's it hey if you guys want one go on the Blade HQ or uh, another site and try to get you one you know it's a great beginner knife say you uh, had a boy in uh, Cub Scouts or, or Boy Scouts and uh, you didn't want to dish 200 bucks into something this right here would get them by just perfectly and you can also uh remove the coating on that there's plenty of youtube videos on how to do that so go in there and watch that as well all right guys hey uh the lives have been successful um get over there and watch them they're uh saturday uh 6 p.m eastern 5 p.m central myself and boston blade reviews host um happy hour live chat so get over there and uh, get the notification bell on for that. We usually do advertise it a week in advance on the time and what the subjects are going to be. So, yeah, the, this coming week it should just be me and him just doing a recap. And there will be a lot to talk about. So like and subscribe. Guys, hit that subscribe button below. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. Let's get that algorithm going in our advantage. All right, stay sharp and stay strong out there.